and look at this, guys. The official hashtag sports debit card. No numbers on the front, so I could show you this. I'm gonna scan the chip. <laughs> Good job. I'm excited. Let's uh, use this bad boy. Let's burn a little cash on it. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. What is it? This is the Cash App card. Okay. We have ten dollars in there. Yeah. So we can only get ten dollars worth of stuff. When have we ever spent more than ten dollars? I don't know. You get kind of hungry sometimes. Me? Yeah. Let's say it's Tim Hortons. It's not a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. You're not ordering creme brulee and a filet mignon. Where's the risotto? You banned the risotto, you pig! <laughs> what are you? I'm an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Paul? Yep. Where can I find hashtag sports content? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Mm, no, I'm trying to think of how this would be. How many should we pick? Should we pick seven? I've waited so long for you. What a great time to be alive. Isn't it? What a great time to be alive. It's just misery, complete misery. All right, so you want to do I want seven? To do, I want to do seven. Seven sounds funnier. Right up our alley. Top seven. Ah, uh, yeah, seven reasons why. Seven takeaways. Ow! Seven. Don't give me the takeaways. I've, I've seen enough of those. Read none of them. Yeah, nope. Uh, you can't get me to click. All right, so what we're, we're going to do is... Like the college football, uh, college football, they always rank. They always rank the teams after what, like four weeks? Something uh, like that? No, I mean, they have preseason rankings. The official release of. Yeah, the, the real ones, ha I think, happen after week three. I want to do one for the offensive line. Official rankings of the offensive line. Best down, All right. down to seven. Do yeah, you yeah. think they're going to keep seven or eight? No. Eight? Uh, well, I mean, here's there's a caveat, right? So let's say Morris doesn't clear concussion protocol by week one, or yes, you know, so there, let's let's say eight. I think they're only going to carry seven unless somebody's injured. Number one, who's your number? One? As Morris is out, oh, you can't count Morris. So can't we're only Morris. doing seven. Can't count Morris. He's he's still as of right now. By the time this, by the time we record this, yeah, Morris is out. He's your eighth tackle. He's eighth. He's ranked eighth. Put him down there. Okay. All right. So we have seven linemen. Did I say tackle? I just call them a tackle. I probably did. We got to pick seven. We got to rank them now one to seven. All right. So if we're going to eliminate Mitch Morris, Morse, 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 like code. Yeah. I mean, oh God, this is painful. You're going to make me say it, aren't you? No. You don't have to say it. You have four other options before that. <laughs> I would put Ty Nasecki ahead of Deion Dawkins. I really would. As the number one ranked lineman on this team right now with more so. I, I, yeah. I agree with you. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh man. I agree. Oh, thank God. I agree with you with Ty Nasecki. It was close, though. Only by a few, only by a few votes. Yeah. <laughs> One. It was only a few votes, but I had because I split Ford into two people. Yeah. Ford yeah. the guard and Ford the tackle. Right. Ford the guard, pretty damn impressive. Mm -hmm. Ford the tackle, serviceable. He still did well. Not Naseki a tackle though. Like I think that's the deal, right? You're looking to see who's a better tackle, Naseki or Ford. Right now? Yeah. Niseki. Niseki's clearly the answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Niseki's, Niseki's the, the number answer. one ranked offensive lineman with more so. I have. That's, from what I saw, yes. Now here's where it gets a little dicey. Yeah. Who's who's two? If it's, ra if it's razor thin, you have to go with Dawkins. And that's a sign of a good team if your top two offensive linemen are, are your tackles. 
you disagree here. I disagree. You're still going to say Feliciano, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Why Why Feliciano over Dawkins? Um, for the reason that I put uh, Niseki up there, it, both performance and how he did in the preseason game and his flexibility as a player, where he can move. Second, on any team, your in your top two should be your center. Yeah. Your top two linemen <clears throat> should be your center. Yeah. It's supposed to be your best player. It's supposed to be your center. Even though five only five of them were drafted in this past draft. Mm-hmm. Um I, I the way that uh, the way that the the line was able to communicate across the board, shift protections, do a few things. Now I know the Colts didn't blitz a lot. However, they were still able to, to uh, form a nice little pocket around Allen, and I didn't see anybody coming up the middle. Right. That could have been Ford. Right. Could have been Spain. Who knows? But Feliciano was right in the middle of them. Mm-hmm. That being said, uh, after Niseki, I'm going to put Feliciano as my number two uh, ranked offensive lineman on this team. As well, and we had talked about Feliciano's role a little bit on our broadcast on Sportscaster, which everyone can go to sports, sportscaster.com and catch uh, the replay of us giving a real quick preseason breakdown. Did you see that guy? No. I don't want to stop at this stop. Okay. It's green. What? You bite your nails? No. You don't bite them? No. Okay. He was aggressively biting his thumb. Aw. Oh. Like, he stopped. And the car, like, like he didn't think the stoplight was there. And it was going. I was like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, everybody needs calcium in their diet, but that's probably the wrong way to get it, right? Freak! <laughs> uh, uh, so you can jump over to Sportscaster, catch our preseason uh, kind of recap, where we talked about a bunch of things uh, across this whole spectrum of the preseason game. Um, then again, you might not hear a ton of people talking about, um, so it's kind of a little bit of a different take on your preseason games. Put Daw- I would put Dawkins at two. Okay, so the current okay, list. But Dawkins, Dawkins hits two. Full transparency. Dawkins hits two. He's an incumbent. I haven't. He he hits two, but I, Niseki was really impressive. So he jumps Dawkins purely from an incumbent standpoint. Okay. So. All right. All right. So three. Who's your three? Quentin Spain. He's a big dude. Good God! Great. The the it, the uh, discussion we had last week with Greg Thompson from Cover One. He uh, he goes. It looks like someone just put a jersey on a refrigerator. <laughs> you see him out there. He's like Michael Bennett, where it just doesn't look like he's wearing shoulder pads. Oh, but he's so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I got Quentin Spain. Um, the reason why you never heard his name during the broadcast. No. That's what you want. Yep. That's two one. Well, especially playing next to Dawkins. Yeah, which means that's why I put I elevated his his stock because he has a little bit more responsibility over there. So if you're talking about tying a Seki and having a rookie next to him, right. all right, based on performance and how he was able to help Ford along and the things yeah. they were able to do with the combo blocks. Okay, Naseki. Then I I went over to the center because Feliciano communicating with everything yep. through that line. Yeah, and then you go to Quentin Spain, who has to communicate things to Dawkins. It, if you have a good guard, it will make your tackle better. Sure. It will make, and vice versa. You got, sure. there, there, there were things that Quentin Spain picked up last year playing next to Taylor Lewan. He had to. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he didn't pick up his diet schedule. No. Because. Yeah, don't want that. No, don't want that. No bueno. Um, so that's why I put Spain number three. Okay. Who, okay. Do, you, who do you got three? Um, Feliciano's had three for me. Hmm. So, I have, for all the reasons mentioned before, he's running that offensive line in a position that he that he's not super familiar with. He did a, a very admirable job. He jumped the guy that we had signed to be the center in Spencer Long, so that tells you a well, little Long bit. Long was hurt a little bit, right? He was, but again, I have a feeling like Feliciano playing center is purely because of communication, right? Yes, yes. So they, they brought him in to be a leader. He's respected in the room. So he's at number three for me right now. Which is a very serviceable and um, nice toy to have in Feliciano 
Yeah. If being Morris able can't to jump go. back, and, yeah, being yeah. able to jump back and forth, absolutely, it helps secure his roster spot. Him playing as well as he did lock, locked in any concern about him not making this team. It put right. Spencer Long in the bubble because they're playing; they're going for the same job. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, you know, Feliciano was at three for me. Number four, four, four. Okay, I have Cody Ford here. I have so four. do I. Okay, but I didn't. Ra- I put Quentin Spain five. So just to remove all, we're we're swapping a little bit, right? So I've I've Cody Ford at four. Now the reason I have him at four is because yes, he played guard. I really like him at guard. His skill set, he he's a nasty guard, right? Yeah. And at he tackle, gets- he's got some some learning to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he gets his hands on you. Just forget about it. You just call it a day. Right. Um, he's he's not afraid to go get you. There's no doubt about that. He's not afraid to go get you. Not to say that we're analysts, because we're not by any means. However, having four at four, wow. Mm -hmm. How good are the three guys above him that you're thinking about? You know what I mean? Right. Um, Well, so we're factoring in responsibility. You know, when you take a look at Feliciano, like we're factoring in things that didn't show up in the preseason game. mm -hmm. You know, like we're factoring. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more at play. He doesn't have a ton of responsibility. His his responsibility is to not is to learn what to do. Yes. That's his responsibility right now. So yeah, forward at four, without a doubt. Thought he looked great. For a rookie, you know, it's I like the fact that he took snaps at guard first and then went to tackle. Uh, because the Seki, again, you gotta find a way to get him on the field. Yeah. Whatever that is. Um, it's easier to move forward to guard than it is to tell uh, Deion Dawkins that he's going to guard. Just an easier conversation to have. At this point. Yeah. Yep. Just an easier it's conversation so huge to have. Because the, you guys have been playing left tackle for that many years. You move him in, he may not have the confidence to move back out again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, not only that, but you're going to take Ford and drop him to the left side. I thought about We talked about that I at the draft. We talked about it. And yeah. I said, you know what? Could that ever be a possibility of Ford going to left tackle and putting Dawkins at left guard? Well, now you got Quentin Spain, so you don't really need to do that. Mm-hmm. But it's such an intriguing thought. You know, look at the road graders on the left side. But the, that's the thing. You th- you think about it. The, in your mind, aside from Quentin Spain and Feliciano, so the three best offensive linemen you have are all tackles. Yeah. And there's only two spots. Uh huh. So. Uh, you get it's a nice problem to have, but we we kind of saw this a little bit because of the contract they gave Niseki. That you given him starter money, you didn't know Ford was going to be available, so you thought you were going to start Niseki anyway. Yeah. Um, so I have uh, well, and we learned from Embedded that he was one of the three guys that they targeted at the start early, of the agency. Early. Yeah, early. That's what they want. No, nah, we don't. They could have cut that up any way they want. Well, no, they were. I agree. So Post production is it can be magic. We know. But they named three. <laughs> but they talked about. Yeah, I know, right? But we had three players that they had talked about wanting, but they only gave one name, and it was Ty Nasecki. So the other two, they must not have gotten. Clearly. Yeah, because why why divulge that information if you think you still you know, not right. trade for the guy? You know right. what I mean? All right. So I have, but it's very specific. So my list so far goes Ty Nasecki, number one. John Feliciano, number two. Quentin Spain, number three. I have Cody Ford, the guard, at number four. Right. Okay. The, the right guard, Cody Ford, I have at number four. At number five, I have Deion Dawkins. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm sure you rank Cody Ford, the guard, over Deion Dawkins, the tackle. I would rank Deion Dawkins, the guard, over Cody Ford, the guard. Yeah. If that were a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then at, uh, I mean, for the reasons that you said, I'm not hating on Dawkins. I think the other guys... You were in this offense last year. Mm-hmm. You are one of the tackles. You, you a left tackle. You're supposed to know things. If guys that are just coming into this system this year are playing on par with you, you know what I mean? I think that's a problem. I think he should be. He should have been lights out, but he wasn't. He, now did, he didn't give up a sack, did he? No. no. He played no well. You can't. You can't count the uh, the bootleg on him. Yeah. No. 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 Um, so. That's why I, I put him where he, I just think the other guys wowed me a little bit more than he did. 
It's not that he did anything hor- horrendous. I just think that the other guys were able to uh, wow me in that respect. I think it's just sort of apropos that you put Dan Dawkins at five uh, the week after he followed us on Twitter and then unfollowed us like a day later. <laughs> I'm not that petty. Which is weird. I don't know why he followed us anyway. Yeah, I... It's, no, it, it, it could have been very easy. He could have very easily followed us, watched one of our shows, and then unfollowed yeah, us. Yeah, right. Because that was a bad week for Dion Dawkins to follow us. <laughs> two weeks ago, that was a bad week for him to follow us. Hey, if two yahoos driving around in a car get under his skin, what the heck is the NFL defensive end going to do? Yeah, that's true. I don't even care. That's true. Oh, well. Um, Number uh, six. No, I still have to name. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did do five. I did. I have Quentin Spain at five. You have Quentin Spain at five, which yeah. you, I think you're a lunatic for that. I, it's, I didn't. <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> I love the potential of Quentin Spain, right? Yes. But here's a guy who stayed on free agency for a long time. Like, he was out there for a long time. The Bills signed because they're like, well, we're stupid and not to. We're stupid enough. I wonder sign. why he was. For That's so what long. I mean. I wonder. There's something. There's something. I don't know what it is. Well, you brought it up initially. It could have been the Taylor Lewan effect that everyone thought. Maybe. Yeah. Like, hey, he maybe played next to it. Taylor Lewan. He was he was hiding behind Lewan. Maybe that's it. You know, maybe maybe that's all it was. But we'll see. I I don't know. So because there just wasn't enough, I got to I got to put Spain at five. Now, is he gonna quickly climb up the list? I he very well could. A very well could. But for right now, i got Quentin Spain on five. All right, so, so to could, number six. Could Quentin Spain make the college football playoff in your eyes? Could he uh, jump into the top four? Oh, yeah, he could jump into the top four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your list is Niseki, Dawkins, Feliciano, Ford, Ford, and Spain. Spain. All right, and mine goes Niseki, Feliciano, Spain, Ford at guard, and then Dawkins at five. Right. All right, so you got number six. Yep. All right, so for number six, man, it gets tough here, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I am going to have to take Spencer Long. Wyatt Teller. No. Number you six. You can't only run the ball. I. Hmm, who says? I, <laughs> the Patriots have done it before. That's true. That's true. So you're going to take Wyatt Teller at six. I'm going to take Wyatt Teller at six, and I'll give you a spoiler right now. Seventh is Cody Ford at tackle. Aw, oh, come on. You're uh. – I'm not bu- – he played both. He did play both. Okay. I, can, I right. can do that. All right. I'll acquiesce to your request, but I think it's nonsense. <laughs> oh, yeah. This coming from the pyramid guy who Whatever. said, listen, if Whatever. I have to trade – a guy yeah, on a former right, Bills all right, team. All right, all right. Yeah, you can go to the episode where I said, where I mentioned, you know, where we played the, uh, the if I had a to former trade, bill on, if on I had the, to get rid of yeah. a current player for a former player. You traded six people, did, uh, you know, get, got rid of seven draft picks, and then, I don't know. Did I make right. the team better? You did. And shut your damn <laughs> So you're going to take... Uh, at number six, I have yeah, Wyatt so Teller. Have Wyatt Teller at six. And I have... Uh, <clears throat> I have uh, Cody Ford at, ta- at right tackle is number seven. Well, here I agree with you in the I agree with you that the tackle should be the last spot, right? Because you look at how many eligible tackles you have, right? Mm. And there's three right now. You have Niseki, you have Ford, and you have Dawkins, right? So th- those are your three tackles. Now but the they, problem, they, so. well, right? But that's that's the point that I'm going to get to. So I'm taking Spencer Long. Okay. Right, and the reason I'm taking Spencer Long is because again you have Mitch Morris, right, who mm. could be injured at any moment, and then you lose Feliciano to center, and then you need to gain a guard here somewhere, mm. right? Or maybe Feliciano is playing so well at right guard, next to Cody Ford or next to Ty Nasecki or wherever the hell they put him, they say, listen, it'll be easier for us to put Spencer Long at center. Let's not break up the continuity across the line. Let's bring, let's bring Spencer Long in. He'll play center. The rest of the line all stays the same. It says shuffling guys around. So I'm going to take Spencer Long here. Um, again, just for versatility and to kind of guard against another Mitch Morris incident. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, so that's why I've got Spencer Long there. Um, because Spencer Long, I think, is nasty in the run game, too. So 
I just think he gives you a little bit more versatility than Wyatt Teller. Wyatt Teller does not make my list. Okay. So for the last spot, you're taking Cody Ford the tackle. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you for taking a tackle. However, unfortunately, we have to kind of look at other options. So we have three remaining tackles. What? I'm listening. Okay, we have three remaining tackles. Bates, the new kid. No. Okay. McDermott. McDermott is injured right now. And then you have DeAndre Wesley. Who looked good. Who who looked pretty good, right? So, McDermott is the incumbent. I'm going to give it to McDermott. Because I'm looking at this from Sean McDermott's viewpoint. If Sean McDermott had to cut down to seven right now, he's going to go with what he knows. I'm not giving it to Wesley. Although, Wesley did look really good. Um, Again, this list is up for revision. I was just ranking them. I wasn't saying this is like who you got to be going to week one with. Yeah, that's how. That's I can't how have I was, Ford on there twice. <laughs> I know, I know, but that's how I was approaching it. Like, if we had to cut down to seven <laughs> oh, guys yeah. right now, it's 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 scary to me because I don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. once Morris comes back because Felicion is such a valuable right. piece. Now, you know what I would do. You know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing if Morris is back? You're moving Feliciano to guard, putting Cody Ford at tackle? Yeah. And then okay. what? And then you're taking Cody Ford, putting him at left tackle, moving Deion Dawkins to right guard? Because that's what I, that's what you would do. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Everyone so bumps doing? out. One guy hops over. Okay. Feliciano goes to guard. Mm-hmm. Ford goes to tackle. Okay. And the second goes to the other tackle. Okay. That's just me. But just from a roster management standpoint, this is, I mean, it's a fun conversation to have because normally most teams carry three tackles, right? You have your left tackle, your right tackle, your swing tackle, right? Mm-hmm. And then usually rosters filled out with guards and an extra center. The reason right? why, yeah, the reason why there's eight is because you have the five starters, yep. swing tackle, swing guard, and then in a backup center. Right. However, if you have someone who can play all three interior positions, it's a right. bonus for you. Right. Well, not only that, Mark, but. You're also looking at right now the Bills started three tackles on their offensive line. So you don't have that tackle protection. No. If somebody gets banged up, well, you're, you're in really, trouble. You're quick. really only starting two tackles, but they're at right guard and right tackle. Right, exactly. So <laughs> you're right. I agree with you. I, yes. We've made this joke so many times, yes. you don't even laugh at it anymore. No, it's, you're right. Yes. Yes. There is, there is a... Two right tackles. Like, Two left guards. <laughs> <laughs> this team's going to have to carry four tackles. They are. Uh, it's, it, That's it, why you go get Wesley or Bates. Right, yeah. It, and the move for Bates makes a lot of sense. It because does. Because it, it fits in. He was a guy practice squad eligible, right? Um, he started a lot in college. Fine. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he wasn't going to make Philly. That's fine. Philly's got got depth issues at defensive end right now. They need a little back they need a little back end support. And these trades have worked out for Buffalo before. It may be nothing. It may turn he may come in, play two games and they say, Yeah, never mind. Meh, meh. Nah, never mind. Meh. But they're they clearly the not worried about bring somebody into the room. No. Nor should they be. And we talked about the offensive line being a strength for this team. And here we are acquiring guys still. You know? Well you got you got them. In, in this instance, yeah. yeah. In this instance, you lose, you lose McDermott. Um, you know, you lose uh, Morris. It gets hairy after that. You lose Waddle. The one position you couldn't afford to get hurt was tackle, and that's what happened. So yeah, yeah, I get it. But I'll tell you what, I'll take this Bills line right now over the last. Two years, most certainly last year. We saw the. Uh, I was watching the game. We were talking. I was talking to my buddies, and we looked at the second team offensive line mm-hmm. for the Bills. Like this would have started last year. Yeah, yeah. And you notice what you know what wasn't on there? Dawkins. Well, I had to cost. Oh yeah. 